wouldn't it be better for you to marry a virgin yeah that you play together in one narration the prophet sallam said wa tudahikuha wa tudahikuk yeah means you play with her she plays with you you laugh together jazakallah khair shaykh barakallah fik we've now come to the break we'll be back soon inshallah please join us again we will continue talking about the important qualities of a potential wife assalam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Let's come under the shade of the scholars. So the issue is a problem of knowledge. Asim Al Hakim. Why do people do bid'ah? Imam Malik said, "Whoever claims there is a good innovation in the Deen." Salim Al Amri. He is accusing that Prophet Muhammad did not convey the message. Dr. Mamdouh Muhammad. If you know that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did something. and i do something else you have to follow the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam don't follow me abdur rahim makati but if each one believes his goal is to please allah to follow the sunnah of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam abdur rahim green i think this really is to do with your internal state where does the quran and sunnah point to muhammad al sharif they have to follow what allah and his messenger said let's imbibe from these scholars the fruitful solutions for the problems of the world which one we would take and which one we would leave question to every muslim to every muslim in the shade of the scholars tomorrow at 6 pm and repeat telecast at 5:30 am india on peace tv a dai dynamic I challenge any human being to point out a single fundamental of Islam in youthful quest which is against humanity as a whole iconic inspiring encouraging don't judge Islam based on the followers Farik Naik judge Islam based on the authentic sources that's the Quran's Quran and, and the authentic Hadith son of the world famous orator on Islam and comparative religion Dr Zakir Naik Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us an opportunity to do a proper job and do a proper job. A star above par in Teams Star tomorrow at 6:30 p.m. and repeat telecast at 9:30 a.m. India on Peace TV. A friendly message by Dr. Zakir. Way to salvation. The way to salvation has been prescribed by our creator in his last testament the glorious quran in surah al-asr chapter number 103 verse number 1 to 3 wal asr by time innal insana lafi khusr indeed mankind is in loss illa allazina amanu except those who have believed wa amilus salihat and done righteous deeds wa tawassaw bil haqq and advised each other to truth what was so be sabr and advised each other to patience there are minimum four criteria required for any human being to enter jannah that is paradise these are iman that is faith amal salihat that is righteous deeds what was so bil haqq that is advising each other to truth that is daud ul islam calling people to submit to god and what the was so be sabr advising each other to patience its significance has been emphasized by imam shafi who said if people were to ponder on the surah it would have been sufficient for their salvation this tv the solution for humanity the world Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome again brothers and sisters to this important discussion where we shall continue from where we left off talking about the very important qualities that we might want to look for in a potential wife. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let's get back into it. The qualities of wives. What's the next quality that you want to mention? Okay. بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. Let me just read two hadith, yeah, two prophetic statements. They will summarize 
part of what we have discussed. One hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the best of your women are those who are bearers of many children, the quality of walud, loving to their husbands, comforting and tolerant. And then the Prophet sallallahu said, provided that they have taqwa of Allah jalla wa ala. In the other hadith, the Prophet sallallahu said, your woman who will be of the people of Jannah are those who are loving to their husbands, bearers of many children, and concerned about their husbands. Mm. Very beautiful hadith that summarizes some of the qualities that we have mentioned. Another important quality that has been discussed, maybe not enough, which is to be virgin, mm. the wife to be virgin. The Prophet sallallahu said, Tazawwaju al-abka, marry the virgin women. Why? Because they have a sweet tongue, as we said, and they have the ability to produce more children and they will be content with what? With little. Also in Hadith Jabir radiallahu ta'ala anhu, you know, Jabir went in an expedition with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was looking after the army. At one point, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam walked next to Jabir radiallahu ta'ala and one of the companions. He said, Jabir, have you got married? He said, yes. He said, whom did you marry? A virgin or previously married? He said, Ya Rasulullah, a lady that was previously married, she was divorced or widow. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, wa Wouldn't it be better for you to marry a virgin? Yeah, that you play together. In one narration, the Prophet ﷺ said, وَتُضَاحِكُهَا وَتُضَاحِكُكُ Yeah? Means, you play with her, she plays with you, you laugh together. Now, what does that mean? Because I'm sure that the sisters who were previously married, they will say, well, this is unfair. Exactly. To us. Exactly. See, in general, the non-married people or the brothers who have not been exposed to marriage who have not been married before is far better for them to marry sisters who have not been married before mm. the compatibility we'll discuss the issue of the compatibility isn't it yes the compatibility will be likely to be achieved yeah. it makes yeah. sense it does make sense the prophet sallam explained this because the woman who have not been exposed to marriage before or have experience before she will be content with any little amount of romance sexual intimacy she will see her husband as everything in her life because she does not have previous experience so nothing to compare it to exactly nothing to compare to or no man to compare to mm. While the sister with a previous experience or previous experiences, it is unlikely, definitely, to be like this. Mm. Same thing with the man. Of course. But with the sister, the case is more. Yeah? And sometimes I see it in the Islamic Sharia Council. I see that it is unfair for a young brother who has not been married to marry a sister who has experience. She's demanding a lot. She has more experience. She's used to certain standards, maybe. Yes, she's used to certain standards. As you said, she compares him with other men. Mm. Why did we say in particular with sisters, this quality is needed in sisters? Because, see, and I hope our sisters listen to this carefully. The sister might be hurt when her husband compares her to another woman. Mm -hmm. She might be hurt a lot. But the husband will be hurt maybe a hundred times more if he were to be compared with another man. Mother, yeah. This is part of, part of uh, the personality is, of the yeah, man. Yeah. Okay? See, look at this. The man might feel jealous when another man looks at his wife. Mm. But he will be maybe double jealous or hundred times jealous in fact when his wife looks at another man yeah. 
Yeah? The man wants to see that his wife does not see any other man other than him. Mm. So I would like to bring this issue to the attention of our sisters. Because we are going to talk about elements that helps yeah, a healthy marriage. Successful marriage. A successful marriage. Yeah? One of them is this. Mm. And as one of the non-Muslim authors said to women, she gave an advice to women. Let your husband feel that he is the lion of the den. Part of this is that don't tell him about other men. Mm. Don't tell him about the generosity of other men, of that particular man, yeah? Or in particular, things related to sexual intimacy. So this apply, for example, if the sisters are talking together about their husbands and someone says, oh, my husband did this, this and this, the wife might think, my husband doesn't do that. Yes, wallahi, you mentioned this, Brother Daniel, which is really very important issue, mm. okay? Sisters have to be careful of this. And that's why the Prophet Sallallahu didn't like qila wa qal, yeah? It has been said this, this, this. The speech has to be useful. So sisters, and when you sit together, don't praise your husbands. Everyone is proud of her husband and mentions the good qualities of her husband because the other married sister, she might not have a husband with these qualities, especially things related to the bed. Mm. Yeah? And it that's why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Sahbihi wa Sallam, yeah, when he gave a mawibah admonition to women, a lady came and stood up and said, Ya Rasulullah, by Allah, women talk about these issues. And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was angry. And he said, this is like an example, when they talk about these private issues, this is like the example of a shaitan and a shaitana. A female devil and a male devil. They met in the street. They had sexual relationship in the street while people are watching. Okay. Look a very... Harsh and disgusting example. Yes, very disgusting example. The Prophet ﷺ wants to show how disgusting this issue is. It yeah. should be a private matter. It is a private matter. Let alone that it creates jealousy. Same thing talking about the generosity of the husband. Mm. Same thing is the discussion about the romantic nature of the husbands. Yeah? And that's why, you know, these plays became common these days that describe the husband as a very romantic, generous, caring, kind mm. man. Mm. They cause a lot of harm. Yeah. And I remember hearing Cases of divorce because some women compared their husbands to the hero in the film or in the play. There were a number of cases, genuine number of cases. We heard about them. Yeah? So if that sister, for example, knew about this issue we were talking about and realized that it might affect her husband, if she refrained from comparing, then that divorce might not have happened. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. We'll have to stop there. Jazakallah khair. Barakallah khair. Your brothers and sisters, please come back and do join us for the next episode when we will continue this important topic of talking about the important qualities when looking for a potential wife. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. ما قال النبي هو الصحيح نكاح مبارك There is joy, there is happiness In this union let there always be peace